another short quiz to test our understanding of the concept of ledger ledger is popularly known as a secondary book of accounts principal book of accounts subsidiary book of accounts none of the above ledger is known as the principal book of accounts it is the principal main book of accounts <clears throat> Correct answer B. Next, which of the following accounts may have a debit or a credit balance? A. Partner's current account. B. Purchase account. C. Commission received account. D. None. May have a credit balance. Commission received will have a credit balance. Purchase account will have a debit balance. What is a partner's current account? A partner's current account is an account in which all payments to a partner, partner being a part owner of a, a firm. So salary may go to that account. If he withdraws money, it may be through the current account. So since his incomes and what he withdraws are both goes to the same account, this could have sometimes a debit balance and sometimes a credit balance. <clears throat> so correct answer should be A. The process of transferring the transactions relating to changes in a particular item at one place in the form of an account is called the process of transferring transactions relating to changes in a particular item at one place in the form of an account is called A. Balancing, B. Casting, C. Journalizing and D. Posting. Correct answer is posting. What is balancing? When we total up the two sides of a ledger, greater total is added. The remainder is put on the opposite side. That is called balancing. What is casting? Casting is adding. Adding the total that is called casting. What is journalizing? Passing journal entries is called journalizing. And what is entries? Transferring data from the journal to the ledger in the form of accounts is called posting. So the correct answer is D. Posting. Next, the credit balance of a personal account shows. Credit balance of a personal account shows A. Cash in hand. The amount payable, C income, D amount receivable. The credit balance in a personal account shows the amount payable. The amount payable credit balance is a liability. And the debit balance in the account of a person will show the amount receivable. Amount receivable. So please note credit balance of a personal account will show the amount payable correct answer B. Next, which of the accounts has a debit balance? Income received in advance, B. Bank loan, C. Prepaid insurance premium and D. Bad debt recovered account. Which of these accounts has a debit balance? Correct answer should be prepaid insurance premium. What is income received in advance? We have received income in advance. Now we have a liability, a liability to render services. So liability will have a credit balance. Bank loan is again a liability and therefore credit balance. Bad debt recovered is an income. It's an income. This will also be credit. So the correct answer is C. Prepaid insurance. What will be the total sales of the year for A limited if they provided the following information? Total sales we want. They are telling you that cash sales is 80,000. Cash collected from debtors is 1,50,000. 
Bad debts during the year is ten thousand. Opening debtors fifteen thousand. Closing debtors ten thousand. Is it two lakh thirty five, two lakh thirty, two lakh forty, or two lakh twenty five thousand? What will be total sales? Total sales will be cash sales plus credit sales. How much is cash sales? It is eighty thousand. How much is credit sales? We do not know. How will we find out credit sales? We can find out credit sales by preparing a debtor's account. By preparing a debtor's account. If I say this is roughly the format of a ledger with a debit and a credit, debit opening debtors are fifteen thousand. Opening debtors fifteen thousand means debit balance. I say two balance, two balance brought down fifteen thousand. Cash sales will not affect debtors. Cash collected from debtors. What is our entry? Cash account debit. Two debtors, cash account debit to debtors. So, by cash we post one lakh fifty thousand. So this is taken care of. Next, bad debts during the year. What is your entry for bad debt? Bad debt is an expense. So bad debt account debit to debtor by bad debts. How much is that? Ten thousand. Opening debtor we have already considered. Closing debtor, closing debtor. So closing debtor debit balance. Therefore, this balance will come here. Balance carried down is ten thousand. Now the two sides of the account should tally. The balancing figure should be because the balancing figure is given. The balancing figure now should be only sales transaction. So how much is this? This is one lakh. Seventy thousand, one lakh. Seventy thousand less fifteen thousand will give us one lakh fifty-five thousand. One lakh fifty-five thousand. What is this? This is credit sales. Sales on account of sales. How did we arrive at this? A balancing figure, balancing the account. Since opening balance of debtors, closing balance of debtors, the cash collected and bad debts was given to us. We assume that the balancing figure is credit sales. Credit sales one lakh fifty five thousand. Therefore, what is the total? Two lakh thirty five thousand. The correct answer should be A. Two lakh thirty five thousand. Journal and ledger records transactions of the firm in a analytical and chronological manner respectively, b chronological and analytical manner respectively, c chronological order only, and d analytical manner only. Journal and ledger records transactions of the firm. In journal records it in a chronological manner, ledger records it in an analytical manner. So let us see. This is wrong. Chronological, yes, journal, analytical, ledger. Therefore, the correct answer should be B. Journal records it in a chronological order. Ledger records it in an analytical manner. Correct answer B.